Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Dynamic Engineers. So today we are going to talk about the types of foundation that we do normally use in our construction process. There are two basic types of foundation that we normally use. Uh, we will be talking about the basic types because these basic types got some other subtypes. So first, what are the basic types of foundation? Let me write it here. The number first is shallow foundation. Shallow foundation. And the number second is deep foundation. Okay. So what is the basic difference between the shallow and deep foundation? Okay. The basic difference between shallow foundation and deep foundation is the depth to width ratio. I would like to tell you people that shallow foundation got its subtypes, also deep foundation got its subtypes. So we will be talking about that in any other video. Here I will be talking about the basic types that is the shallow and the deep foundation. And the basic difference between the deep and shallow foundation is depth to width ratio this ratio now if dip the normal thumb rule for differentiating between shallow foundation and deep foundation is if the dip to width ratio that is d by w is less than 2 then it is a shallow foundation okay now what does this mean like if depth is 10 meet 10 meter is a very high value but uh, like if the depth is 4 meter and the width is 10 meter okay now 4 divided by 10 let me calculate it so 4 divided by 10 will give us 0 0.4 okay this is giving us 0 0.4 now if you look here 0 0.4 is less than 2 so a foundation of this type will be a shallow foundation now if depth to width ratio is greater than 2 then it will be a deep foundation like if i consider the depth as 20 meter and the width is 5 meter then it is equal to 4 so 4 is greater than 2 then it is a deep foundation so this this is the main difference between the shallow and deep foundation there are other differences as well but those are theoretical concepts the mathematical value for differentiating between deep foundation and shallow foundation is this depth to width ratio other properties include the feasibility the cost and the mechanism of load transfer that how shallow foundation will transfer load how deep foundation will transfer load those are other properties the theoretical concepts this is the main value that you do need to keep in your mind d by w less than 2 d by w greater than 2 so i hope you would have learned this and you would have understood the basic difference between shallow foundation and deep foundation if you have any question regarding this topic you can ask me in comments thank you very much